very good morning to students welcome to the online class today you are going to discuss blast design uh, a specific open cost bench in specified uh, holes with the specified uh, spacing and button and the depth is given and also for the good back break up or good without the toy formation they give the subgrade and also giving the stemming and you have to calculate the how much powder factor is getting the specified uh, explosive blast as well as how much output getting the specified uh, number of holes and spacing and button uh, going to lab in this a, a simple a typical problem let us go to the problem here is given a surface mine blast design has nine holes a, a row have the a nine holes each of eight meters length that means eight meters length here i have a pictorial picture is i showing here this is the a bench the bench here there is a n number of nine number of holes are there each hole has a the le length of 8 meters 9 holes into 8 is the length of the each hole drill and also the given diameter also given this is a 200 mm diameter hole each hole is a diameter 200 mm 8 meters length and number of holes is a 9 the space and burden is also given the space and burden of this kind of space is a the each hole distance between each holes is called spacing the free face to the the first row of this called the button it is giving a 6 into 5 that means 6 into 5 into 8 that is the volume of the the complete we will get the volume of the uh, the specified holes the length of the subgrade drill also given 1 meter the without uh, for the preventing of the toy formation is a given and also the density of the uh, in situ rock, the rock density also given in turn by meter cube. Explosive density also is given. The what are the filling of the explosive density is the 0.9 tons per meter cube, and the stemming length is also given for the protection of the uh, going to the inside. They are giving two meter. Uh, they are filled with the uh, stemming. So now you have to, or the target is to calculate the output uh, turn and powder factor from the blast in turn for kg this is our uh, a typical example of the problem now is coming to the uh, how first before you go to the power factor calculate output the output how will will get it so generally output is getting the number of holes multiplied with the specific and uh, burden and density of the rock and also the, the length of the holes so actually length of the hole is the, actually we are using only the remain what is the uh, filled with the uh, subgrade in one meter is uh, detecting they will get the number of holes spacing burden density length of hole minus subgrade that is nine is the number of holes spacing is a uh, six burden is five and density is a uh, 2.43 is a uh, given in the instead of ton per meter cube and subgrade we are deducting the length of the hole so we'll get the this figure for the output for blast now how much explosive is required? How much explosive is required? So similar explosive required means column. If you show the, I am going here, there is a column. So how much explosive will be filled with this one? So that is a cross-sectional area of the hole. That is a pi by 4 into the dimension. Dimension is already given 200 mm. That is a 0.2 meters so pi by 4 into 0.2 whole square is the, the cross sectional area of the column and the 9 holes are there the multiple 9 and 8 is the length of the hole each hole but the 2 meter you are using for the stemming they are not using a they simply the fill with the what are the material available there that is a uh, drilled uh, drill out material some um, lamp, stamp, sandstone or uh, some outside coming that will be filled with up to two meters. The stemming a complete stemming column is filled. That means mostly where um, after explosive field, the explosive field 
uh, this much this is called as a um, 2 meters so remain column a will be uh, actually explosive field that means 6 meters so actually the um, your uh, stemming column is a 2 meters subgrade is 1 meter already you are using you are not uh, bothering with subgrade because subgrade will be not coming to uh, whole length is complete 8 minus 2 we are using so pipe uh, area of cross sectional area number of holes uh, stemming uh, length you are uh, deducting here because the explosive column you are calculating next what is the density the density of this explosive is 0.9 but they are giving a uh, density in a ton per meter cube. They are giving a ton per meter cube. So that we are using cages. Generally the, we are using power factor ton by uh, kg. So that the explosive cages. So you are multiplied with 1000. So that we get this figure. So then coming to the power factor calculation. Output for blast 4393. And explosive required. We are getting the 15, 26.04 kgs. So overall the powder factor will be getting the for this much of design plant design 3.01 ton per kg so this is the one typical example we can observe here from this to improving of the powder factor the powder factor improving that means the output per blast the explosive so that means you are improving the means the increasing that for the explosive required the denominator should be less that means you should be exposed as much as a low explosive using the power output automatically increasing the high power factor indicating the a good blast design so for which what are the factors you have you observed here this from this typical example for increasing the denominator the reduce is required and uh, numerator will be increasing required then power factor factor will be increasing so such a way that you think that the which factor with the flexibility is there for the changing so the denominator as low as is possible is very important from the, uh, the power factor calculation. This much, this is a, as much as a good for. So for increasing the number of holes can be increased, the automatically the factor will be increasing. Or spacing and burden increasing, this factor will be increasing. So this is a fixed. So uh, you can't change the density of the rock. This is a fixer. The length of hole be increasing, this factor will increase. So all factor except uh, density of the rock. Um, uh, rock is to rock density remain all factor can be improved automatically this will increase at the same time if we reduce the what are the reducing factors here means hole there once you have increased the hole diameter can be less but explosive uh, column it can be reduced so this factor will be as much as less automatically your power factor will increase and output will can be but the, uh, the fragment in the size uh, suitable for the uh, shovel so these are factors also increasing so from this the typical problem you, a critical thinking your idea you critical think and solve the remain problems which is having giving to the assignment uh, i hope you, the today discussion you understand the, the how to blast design what are the factors uh, for getting the output and what are the factors from the explosive required calculations from these two factors how to calculate the power factor i hope you are understanding the the concept of the blast design um, thank you thank you very much